everyone Feroz here and welcome back to another episode of Decentralized Chain. In today's episode we are going to take a detailed comparative analysis between two blockchains Polkadot and Solana. Now this exploration is designed to shed some light on the unique features, technological advancements and distinct approaches each platform takes towards solving critical blockchain challenges. And from that you should be able to come to your own conclusions on which is the better bet going into the bull run. So we delve into Polkadot's interoperability, shared security model, contrasting it with Solana's high throughput and efficiency consensus mechanism. Now the video aims to provide viewers with a balanced perspective, highlighting the strengths and limitations of each ecosystem, their use cases and scalability solutions, developer ecosystems and overall impact on the future of decentralized applications and blockchain technology. So whether you're a blockchain enthusiast, developer or investor, this video will equip you with a deeper understanding of these two leading platforms and how they are shaping the blockchain space. But before we dive in, I want to remind you to like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to stay updated on our latest content. So let's get started. In the rapidly evolving world of cryptocurrency, there are constantly new blockchains emerging to challenge the established platforms. And here we have two already established platforms. But how do they stack up against each other? The two challenges, Polkadot and Solana, both offer unique solutions to some of the existing blockchain network limitations. So whether you're a crypto investor or someone interested in the future of blockchain technology, understanding the nuances of these two emerging platforms is essential for staying ahead of the curve. So Solana is a high performance blockchain network that aims to provide fast and efficient transaction processing at scale with an ultimate mission to enable decentralized applications or dApps to operate at speeds comparable to traditional web applications. Solana's blockchain is designed to use a unique combination of technologies to achieve its high speed and scalability goals. Sol is the native token of the Solana network and serves multiple functions within the ecosystem. It can be used for staking, transaction fees and governance. By staking Sol, holders can help secure the network and earn additional tokens as rewards. Transaction fees on Solana are paid in Sol and are generally lower compared to other blockchains due to the network's high throughput. Now, moreover, Sol holders can participate in the network's governance by suggesting modifications to the protocol and casting votes. Solana offers several advantages, including speed, scalability, security, although one could argue it is heavily centralized. Now, flexibility, interoperability, and a thriving community with the ability to handle up to 65,000 transactions per second Solana is one of the fastest blockchain networks in the world. Its architecture is designed to be highly scalable, allowing it to handle a large volume of transactions and data. Solana also boasts top-notch security through its resilient network architecture and cutting edge of cryptography, preventing common attack vectors. However, Solana also has some disadvantages. It has a centralization risk due to its proof of history consensus mechanism, which relies on a centralized group of nodes to maintain the ledger. Solana also has limited decentralization compared to other blockchain networks. And additionally, it does find itself down a fair bit. Now, let's take a moment to remind you to like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, so your support helps us continue creating valuable content for you. So on the other hand, Polkadot, your next generation network that aims to solve the problem of blockchain interoperability. It allows different blockchains to communicate and work together seamlessly by using a unique sharding and parachain architecture, enabling a new era of cross-chain applications and services. The native token of the Polkadot network is called DOT. It serves multiple functions within the ecosystem, such as staking and governance, by staking their DOT, holders can help to secure the network and earn rewards in the form of additional tokens. Additionally, 
dot holders can participate in Polkadot's governance by proposing and voting on protocol changes and upgrades. Polkadot offers advantages such as interoperability, scalability, flexibility, security, innovation, and a strong community. But Polkadot's architecture allows different networks to work together seamlessly, enabling the transfer of data, assets, and entire blockchain systems between them. It is highly scalable and can handle a high volume of transactions and data. Polkadot's architecture also provides blockchain developers with the freedom to create a wide range of applications and enables the integration of existing blockchain systems. It's important to mention the Polkadot SDK software development kit because of its strength. Its power is so recognized that even other big projects like Polygon's Avail and Cardano are starting to use it. And this shows how influential the Polkadot SDK is in the world of blockchain. However, Polkadot has some disadvantages. Its architecture is complex and may be difficult for some developers to understand and work with. Polkadot's elaborate governance model involves multiple stakeholders in the decision-making process, which can be time-consuming and lead to potential conflicts. Additionally, Polkadot's success heavily relies on the performance of its core project, and there is always the risk of security vulnerabilities and attacks, as with any platform. Now, let's explore the key differences and direct comparisons between Polkadot and Solana. Polkadot is a multi-chain platform designed to connect and communicate with other blockchains, while Solana is a single-chain platform that uses a unique proof-of-history mechanism to achieve high throughput. Polkadot aims to enable interoperability, allowing seamless communication between different blockchain networks, while Solana, although not explicitly focused on interoperability, can still communicate with other blockchain networks through the use of bridges. Polkadot uses a high consensus mechanism called nominated proof of stake or NPOS, while Solana uses a proof of history POH consensus model. Solana is currently capable of processing more transactions per second than Polkadot with its TPS capacity exceeding 65,000, while Polkadot has a TPS capacity of around 1,000 transactions per second core. And currently, Polkadot has the capability of 100 cores. So theoretically, the transactions per second of Polkadot with asynchronous backing is around 100 thousand. So both Solana and Polkadot have growing communities and developer ecosystems, but Polkadot has a more established network of projects and partnerships. They also have similarities such as addressing scalability challenges, offering the ability to deploy decentralized applications, and providing powerful tools for building on their platforms. Now let's take a look at the historical price action of Solana and DOT. So Solana was launched in March 2020, and the price of the SOL token started at around 23 cents. Now in just over a year, it skyrocketed to reach an all-time high of around $258 back in September 2021. The price then experienced a correction and is currently hovering around the $115 mark. Polkadot, on the other hand, was launched in August 2020 with the initial price of DOT being approximately $2.90. And since then, it has also shown a steady rise, reaching an all-time high of around $55 back in May of 2022. But similar to Sol, DOT's price experienced a correction and has since held at a steady $8 mark. Now, choosing between Polkadot and Solana as an investment can be tricky, as both are promising blockchain projects, both investing in either it's important to understand their underlying technology use cases, community, and potential risks. Factors like your investment goals, risk tolerance, and overall portfolio diversification should also be taken into consideration. I hope this video has been informative and helpful in understanding the key differences and similarities between Polkadot and Solana. Remember to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on our latest content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.